tipica ragazza italiana Che a volte può sembrarti strana La guardi in un istante Ti entra nella mente È la classica italiana Hi everybody, we are back The Franny and Jojo Show I'm Francesca I'm Joelle And this is our new segment Growing Up Italian We want to thank Blast Pop Media, Ace Michaels, for producing and promoting our new show. We yes. are so grateful. We really are. Yeah. We've been at this for a couple of years, but now we're taking a new approach here, so we hope you enjoy the show. So let's yeah. talk about our families uh, and growing up Italian. Yeah. So um, tell me, where did your family come from? My father's originally from Naples, and my mother's parents are from Naples, so I'm first generation on my father's side second generation on my mother's side, but my mother's born and raised in the Bronx. Oh. So I'm very East Coast Italian. Right, right. And my family is from Naples as well, my mm -hmm. mother's side. Yeah. My father's side is Rome. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, my family was originally um, from Youngstown, Ohio. The dirt map capital, I eat the <laughs> Anyway, and mm -hmm. so, yeah, so um, both of us have these incredible stories about our families and, and the things that happened to them. My family came over on the boat. Mm -hmm. Your family came over on the boat. My, yep, exactly. My father came over on the boat and my mother's parents came over on the boat, Ellis Island. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. me too. Same thing. Yeah. And then for some reason, my family moved away from New York and ended up in Ohio. Mm -hmm. And um, I, uh, I got this book from one of my cousins sort of looked back into our history. Mm -hmm. And I found out that one of my great grandmothers was involved in a flood and mm -hmm. um, survived this flood and actually had to swim to the shore with her children to get to the other side. Wow. And she was pregnant with one of the babies. Um, and just interesting stuff about, you know, they didn't have the amenities that we have today, right? Exactly. And exactly. so it, it's interesting to think that our families, what they went through to pretty much either go by horseback or walk to where mm -hmm. they ended up migrating to. And then the weather that um, in the East Coast, especially, they have yeah. the four seasons, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Our snowstorms are brutal Ooh. beyond anything you can imagine. I know. And they say sometimes they're getting worse now. But mm -hmm. could you imagine, honestly, being in a situation where you didn't have um, the amenities we have today, which I'm so grateful that I grew up in this era and not another one because um, mm -hmm. I'm not a camper. I'm a glamper. And so I'm a camper. Everybody knows that. I'm a, I'm a hiker, a camper. I'm, I'm not a bohemian gypsy, whatever you want to call me. And Anything I have my buffet for dinner. I have my, and we have our spoons. We do. We have our spoons, <laughs> which we're grateful to Ann Pettit. Oh, Is Anne, it Ann Pettit? Ann Pettit. Yep. Yep. And she made you these like for to call us. her Ann Petite. Yeah, because she's she, small and she is very. <laughs> we love Thank you, Ann. Yeah, way. we love Thanks. our we love our um, wooden spoons, which my mother used to beat my ass with this. When I, was <laughs> I got hit with a frozen sausage and then <laughs> after my mother actually put the same frozen sausage she hit me in the head with to heal the wound. <laughs> Hello, how sick is that? But I guess it's normal. Isn't it funny how if you have like a sty in your eye, my grandmother would say, yeah. let me get the gold ring. Get yeah. the gold ring and rub the eye, rub the eye. Oh, you know, it's so all true. These old Italian traditions. I so. do have some trivia questions. Oh, good. We love I those. I love the trivia questions. <laughs> okay. What year was the Vespa scooter invented in Italy? Was it? Wait, wait. The Vespa scooter. I've been on one of those. I yeah. rode one of those when I was in Italy. Those she are did. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. yeah, I heard okay, the what? story. So cool. <laughs> Didn't you crash? No, oh, I didn't. You almost we crashed. crashed the four. The we crashed the bike with the four wheels. Go on to the okay. story. Okay, okay. <laughs> so was it 1950, 1937, or 1946? Well, I'm going to go with 37 because it's it's pretty old. Am I right? Ding, ding, ding. You're wrong. <laughs> I'm wrong. 1946. It was Shut invented. Shut up. All right. Okay. Very cool. One more wow, trivia the question. Hmm. Very nice. What is Italy's national flower? Is it the tulip or the rose or the lily? Huh. I don't know. The tulip? <laughs> what do you think? It's Holland? Because the, the ho tulip is the Holland's national flower. Oh, it is? It's the lily people. Oh, I like lilies. Yeah, lilies are beautiful. Very nice. I love roses. I... Um, my grandmother had a lot of, well, she had a garden. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure your family oh, had a garden. Oh, gosh. My the father, time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, especially yeah. back east. The, yeah. the They always had this beautiful garden, and so when always. I would go visit them in the summers after mm -hmm. we moved to the West Coast, um, we would go and pick the flesh, the flesh, the fresh flowers, 
Uh, they were picking flesh too because you know Italians, they got body parts we buried the hell out of everybody. all over the place, all right? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. But she would pick fresh flowers um, and put them on the tables. Mm -hmm. And, and um, uh, that was always incredible to me to watch my grandparents as they aged mm -hmm. go out to the garden and pick the tomatoes and oh, pick yeah. the basil. And then and can pick, the tomatoes. Oh, God. Please. And prepare them for, for the oncoming winter because oh, yeah. you can't grow tomatoes. On the East Coast in the winter, it's 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 impossible. Oh, I know. You know? My grandparents had a, a cellar, mm -hmm. and in the cellar yep. there was rows and rows and rows of canned things. Yes, right, mm -hmm. and meat hanging. <laughs> and meat. All right, and dead wait, carcasses. Wait. And, and my grandmother made something called bubacha cruche, which was those peppers, and they'd hang them and dry yes. them, and then mm -hmm. you'd fry them in the olive oil and the garlic, and put a little bit of crushed red peppers. Oh, and when you chewed on them, they tasted like potato chips. Only. Italian potato chips. And then right? they would clean out your sinuses very well, okay? <laughs> yes. Okay, so if you yeah. had a cold or the flu, oh, all right, please. you were all set. Oh, yeah. All right? And the Vicks on the yeah, chest, and exactly. you were good to go, yeah. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and then there's always the crazy Italian. I, I remember this Italian family. Um, I don't want to mention their names because um, I want to stay alive. But um, <laughs> they would, every 4th of July, the crazy Italian kids would put firecrackers and like, the, what are those uh, things on 4th of July that can actually blow up a mailbox? What are those called? Uh, Hand grenades? Uh, no. <laughs> well, we are, <laughs> the FBI is going to start questioning us. <laughs> Um, no, it's, there, there's a name for it. But anyways, besides all that, you people will Those know. bottle rockets? No, it's, it's, it, it'll come to me, all right? I have a little amnesia. But anyways, <laughs> they would, this, this family would blow up everybody's mailbox on 4th of July. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah, I know some crazy Italians back east. Wow. And I'm not going to mention the names to protect the innocent and the not so innocent. Oh gosh! Yeah, my family. I love this story. So my uh, my mother talks a lot about a community that she lived in called Briar Hill, and mm -hmm. all the Italians lived in this this little street in Briar Hill. And a lot of the houses were three and four stories, mm -hmm. and the families all lived together. So oh, let's, yeah. you know, so mm -hmm. the so I remember I have a vague memory of going to my great grandfather's house and he was on the top floor in a wheelchair and he would he was always hunched over you know when we go in and and um so anyway, the, the, the story was that the neighbors next door were mafia. And every Sunday, the, the grandmother would cook the meal. And so you'd see all these beautiful cars come, the, the Cadillacs and, the, and mm -hmm. all the, the black Cadillacs and these white, pearl white cars. And the, everything was always, you know, the cars were always in beautiful shape, even if it was snowing. Yeah. But the cars would all line up every Sunday. And um, my grandmother... Um, we lived next door, and my grandmother would get invited once in a while to dinner, but the neighbor next door talked about she always made dinner for the mafia. Mm -hmm. And if you got, I forget how the story was, but if the food was good, they'd leave a $100 bill under yeah. the plate. That is the, right? your mom told me that yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Your Actually, Mama Mia. Yeah, Mama Mia. Mama Mia. We love you so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> On uh, no, one of our shows, she explained the story, and it was it was in interesting. Yeah, yeah. They would leave the hundred dollar bill underneath the plate, mm -hmm. and if the food was good, then the cook, obviously, who was the grandmother, would would mm -hmm. get the hundred. And then if bill. the food was bad, they would end up, you know, um, <laughs> in a bologna sandwich. <laughs> bologna sandwich. Yeah. They get their mailbox blown up. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's so, all kinds of stories. Uh, How about Vinnie Bag of Donuts? Oh, uh, Mamma We're, Mia. We all live near a. Vinny bag of donuts, don't we? <laughs> Not now, but yeah, well, back, back, the back then. Yeah. Oh, we got stories, mama. Oh Mia. my goodness. My favorite thing is I still have the Sunday traditions at my house mm -hmm. for my son. We still make the sauce and have the meatballs and, oh, and yeah. I still invite my mother over mm -hmm. and she comes on Sunday. My mom and my stepdad, they come over and they have dinner and and uh, and my son just loves it. Um, usually in the morning I'll um, go off and do something in the morning or the church or go to yoga or something and come home and then the house just smells so good uh, you know I with know, the right? with the pork and the and the beef and the oh, all the stuff and, and, and the there and the all and the sauce oh and, my god and, and uh, the garlic the oh. fresh garlic they're I mean if they can make perfume out of it <laughs> I, don't I think mean so. no guy would come near me but <laughs> that's okay so. too all right so. <laughs> we don't want the garlic perfume <laughs> what are you nuts <laughs> yeah but so I try to keep with that tradition the mm -hmm. only thing I don't do is my grandfather father would 
complain every week. My grandmother's name was Antoinette. He'd say, Antoinette, Antoinette, you and the five pounds of flour. Every Sunday, he would go to the store and he would buy her a five pound bag of flour. And wow. she would go through a five pound bag of flour every week, making everything homemade. The yeah. doughs and mm -hmm. the crisples and the homemade pastas. And mm -hmm. I remember when. And the breads. And the breads. And, and, and the garlic knots. Oh. Mm -hmm. And stuff that you're not supposed to eat now, but mm -hmm. I swear. I don't that know. I still eat and mm -hmm. I don't care. I don't I try not Listen. to eat. What what is this gluten free stuff? But whatever <laughs> it is, what it is, right? We want to try to keep our girlish figures as well. Oh, mine's long gone. <laughs> <laughs> not so much. <laughs> so yeah, so I think that that's probably the only only thing that I don't really participate in is I'll just buy the pasta instead of make it homemade. But I do mm -hmm. know how to make it. Mm -hmm. I have a pizzelle maker, I have mm -hmm. the cavatel makers, mm -hmm. I have I don't know about you. Well, my father did all that. Uh, uh, my father was the most really? amazing cook, just like Chris, like your Chris. I mean, amazing. Huh. And he actually owned restaurants. And I will, on the next show, bring in one of the paper clippings that the newspaper, you know, wrote about him. Very yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I grew up on some really good food. Oh, yeah. there are so many stories that we're going to share with you. Mm -hmm. um, I think moving forward, just the Italian culture itself yeah. is something to be... Um, discussed in detail yeah. and we have plenty of stuff coming up in the future to talk about we're so delighted that you joined us today yes thank you and so much we look forward to the next time that we meet and we will be talking more about growing up italian and follow us on youtube please yes the franny and jojo show growing up italian yep thanks have a nice day ciao ciao Yeah.